Hey there folks, my name is Peter and on today's video we are talking truck EDC. So before we get into all the sweet gear that I have packed inside this Husky case, which I keep in my truck every single day, if you're into EDC, tools, or do-it-yourself projects, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with everything that we're doing here. So first, with respect to the case itself, I have gone through several iterations of this, and if I'm being 100% honest, this is not the final form. The reason I have this massive container is because I have multiple vehicles that I'm usually traveling between, and what I wanna be able to do is take all my gear with me as I'm transitioning from one vehicle to another. Now, what's bad about this solution is that when this box is in the backseat of my F-150, which is a super cab, you can't put the seats all the way down. So if I ever have passengers in the back seat, I have to take this, move it to the bed of the truck for driving around purposes. Before I had a box, I just had everything that you're gonna see in here in the back seat. What was good about that is I could put the seats down, I didn't have to move everything, but if I wanted to move it to another vehicle, it was a pain. And then I've also tried using like a Milwaukee or a Ryobi tool bag that they give you when you buy the toolkits, uh, but it doesn't tend to fit everything. So ultimately I'm making a trade-off between having it all and it being a little bit more cumbersome, but in the future I may switch this out. So this is a Husky box. What's nice about it is that you can actually unfold the top as you see here, or you could take the top completely off. Now this does form a watertight seal. It's got this nice uh, rubber o-ring all the way around it, so I'm not ever worried about anything that's in here getting wet, uh, which for me, living in the Northeast, is a concern. I don't want snow to impact any of this. Now on the topic of snow, technically I have two different EDCs because in the winter, there are items that I'm carrying that I'm not necessarily carrying in the summer. For today's video, we are gonna focus on the way that I have this packed out 90% of the time, and we're not gonna talk about any of the winter specific stuff that I add in here come November, December timeframe. Instead, I'll do another video as we get closer to winter talking about those specific items. So I have a ton of stuff in here, let's just get right into it. The first thing that I'll talk you all through are these LED road flares. Now, I recently did a YouTube short video on these where you can see all of the different modes that they come in. But what I really like about these is that one, you can hang them or they have a magnet on the back. So you can stick them on the back of your truck or car. They have nine different modes and they're crush and waterproof. So theoretically, if you have this on the ground and, you're, and you drive over it, this thing shouldn't get crushed, which is good. Uh, and waterproof is obviously super valuable. Again, we're gonna be in the snow or it could be raining. Uh, and this just gives us that peace of mind where if we're changing a tire or doing something else on the side of the road, we want every other driver to be able to see us. So I got these on Amazon and as with everything else in this kit, I will provide a link in the description below. I believe as of the time of this video, these are on sale. So if you're interested, you can pick up a pair. I think you can get four for about $21. This is an alternative to keeping like actual road flares with you. Uh, they run on three AAA batteries. You don't get the batteries when you buy them from Amazon. But for me, I put the batteries in a year ago. Uh, they don't get a ton of use, thankfully. Uh, and obviously they're still working as you would expect. And of course they come in this nice little carrying case so that you can keep them all together. Next, now this is technically more of a winter item because I am not a camper. So I don't really need this day to day, but it folds up so nicely that I'm okay to just leave it in here year round. Uh, but technically speaking, this is definitely more of a winter item because if I ever wanna dig myself out uh, of trouble, you're gonna need a shovel to do that. So I know that Gerber makes uh, shovels like these sort of more tactical shovels. And listen, at the end of the day, if I have to shovel snow with this thing, it's gonna suck. But having something is better than having nothing at all. I want to say that I got this either at like a Bass Pro or Harbor Freight, something like that. Uh, but they make tons of these like fold up shovels. Um, and of course, if you do camp or you find yourself off-roading and you know, you have to use the bathroom, this would be a great way to dig a hole. Uh, I don't use this very often. Again, thankfully, uh, I have it mainly in here for snow removal but I just leave it in here year round. Next, I've just got a run of the mill pair of gloves from Milwaukee. Uh, I use these most recently to transfer uh, paving stones from Lowe's into my truck. You can see they got beat up pretty badly, truthfully. So I don't know how well these things are gonna hold up over time. I have another pair of mechanics gloves in this kit, which I would probably wear for like finer tooth 
work. Uh, but if you're shoveling snow or you have to change a tire or something to that effect, you can never have too many pairs of gloves. I want to say I got these on sale for like 10 or 15 bucks. In general, there's nothing special about these. I would just have a pair of gloves in your truck or car at all times. So the next two items that we'll talk about both deal with strapping stuff down. Uh, this first item is a set of bungee cords that I did get on Amazon. This is called X-Strap Cargo Control. Uh, and it's basically just a bunch of different sizes uh, of bungee cords, right? So I think yellow might be the longest one. And then you've got red, you've got blue and green, so on and so forth. Although ratchet straps, which we'll talk about here in a minute, are my preferred method of strapping things down, uh, you really can't beat the ease of use with a nice bungee cord. Uh, these ones have gotten a ton of use. Uh, we use these a lot during tailgate season. Go Bills. Uh, so they are a little bit beat up, but I, I bought this kit on Amazon years ago and they're still holding up strong. So I uh, always want to have a pair of these in the truck so that I can strap whatever down that needs to be. In terms of ratchet straps, I remember I bought these at Home Depot. This is Husky brand. Uh, I believe I got five of them for about $20. The only real tip or trick I can give you with ratchet straps is uh, package them individually. Uh, this was something that my grandfather told me to do a long time ago and uh, what, what's nice about it is that if you have a bag like this, they're not going to get all tangled up when they're not in use. I made a YouTube short about this and people really, it, it seemed to bother people. I guess it was pretty polarizing, but I've always found uh, that it makes it easier to deal with these things, so I do it. Uh, let me know if you decide to do the same. Uh, but again, nothing special about these. I want to say these are like five ton straps. I got a bunch of them for 20 bucks. Uh, I know that, you know, they sell like auto ratcheting straps and things like that. The truth is for as often as I need stuff like this, I'm not super worried about being as efficient as possible. Uh, I just want to be safe and these have always done the job. We just used these last weekend to move a few couches out of this house. So love ratchet straps, keep them individually wrapped and they'll take care of you. Next, I've got my two inch hitch. Uh, so I bought this from U-Haul. It's uh, I guess their power toe. In truth, I don't know much about different uh, hitches and whether or not they're any good. This had all of the ratings that checked the boxes I needed to be checked. Uh, and I leave it in here as opposed to always on the back of the truck because people steal this stuff. So in the hitch itself, I have one of those protective covers with of course the Bills logo. Uh, and when I need to tow the boat or a trailer, I just hook this thing up. Next, we've got our jumper box. So I used to carry jumper cables and from time to time, if I'm going on like a really long distance trip or something, I will throw, I think I have 15 foot cables that I'll throw in here. But in general, I have found these battery packs to be more than useful. So the knock on stuff like this is generally that uh, if you don't keep these things charged, they will drain the battery over time. So it may be that you go to use it in the dead of winter because your car's not starting and this thing isn't charged enough to give you what you need in order to start the vehicle. So what I do is I just set a reminder on my iPhone every three months, bring this inside, charge it overnight, put it back in the truck and we're good to go. Uh, this is the TAC Life brand. I want to say I got this at Costco. I know that the NOCO uh, jumper, cap, jumper packs rather are pretty much always on sale on Amazon, especially around Prime Day, uh, which depending on when you're watching this video could be going on right now. And I put that NOCO in my fiance's car and it's also worked super well. So uh, this is basically the setup with this TAC Life. You get, the, uh, get this set up like this. Hook this up to your car or truck. Uh, this thing will light up green once you know it's set up correctly. Wait a minute and then turn the key, you should be good to go. Uh, I've used this on my F-150, I've used it on the Kawasaki Mule. Uh, I know that it works, I'm very happy with the product. You just have to keep it charged. All right, next, just a handful of smaller items that we'll talk through briefly. Obviously, a roll of duct tape, you can never go wrong. This stuff is infinitely valuable. Uh, I do have a flashlight in here from Milwaukee. This is their uh, what do they call this? This is one of their floodlights. Uh, I want to say I got this for free as part of a promotion. Uh, what I like about it, it has the magnetic base. So if you're underneath the hood of the car, you just stick this up there and you now you have light everywhere that you need it. Um, I have other flashlights in here as well, but this one always stays in the truck. I also have a uh, capless gas tank funnel. So I'm a big fan of sea foam. Uh, I put a can in the truck basically every six months or so. Uh, and this is the main reason why I have this in there is to be able to transport the sea foam from its container into the uh, gas tank. Uh, luckily, I haven't needed to use this for any other reason. Like I'm filling up my, my truck with a five gallon tank on the side of the road. But if I did, I would be happy that I have this in here. Uh, these I want to say I got from like O'Reilly Auto Parts. They're super cheap. I have a couple in the garage and obviously I have this one in the truck. Highly recommend something like this so that you're always prepared. Next, I've got a set of these microfiber towels. So I am a sucker for the uh, unlimited car wash package. Uh, I actually end up getting my car washed 
two or three times a week. Uh, they don't tend to dry it very well, so I have these cloths in there. Uh, another one that I've been using to just make sure I dry off the mirrors and stuff like that so you don't end up with water stains as you're driving away. Of course, you know, microfiber towels are infinitely useful. You can use them for a lot of different things, but the reason I keep all of these in here is primarily to dry the vehicle after the car wash. Next, this is a pickup from Costco, which is a first aid kit. Now, I came across this first aid kit at Costco, I wanna say three to six months ago. I don't know if it was like a holiday sale, but I'm pretty sure this whole thing was $20. And it actually has a lot of stuff in here for 20 bucks. On your top here, you've got all your different medications, ibuprofen, aspirin, antacid, etc. You've got sting relief, uh, isopropyl alcohol pads. These flip up for ease of access and then you can also open this whole thing to reveal adhesive bandages, gauze pads, tongue depressors, so on and so forth. Uh, everything that you could possibly need from a boo-boo perspective is gonna be covered by this here kit. The only thing I don't like about it, uh, and again, this is very subjective, is the hard case that it comes in because it necessarily has to go in something like this uh, or just takes up a lot of space. What I would like to do is find a, uh, basically like a Maxpedition pack that I can transfer all the contents of this into. I know that my medic makes basically exactly what I want. The problem is I think they want like 60 or $80 for their kits uh, and I already have all the supplies. I just want the red pouch. So if you know where I can get a red uh, EDC pouch for building a medical kit, be sure to comment down below and let me know. But overall, we've used everything in here at least once. So far, so good. Obviously, some of the stuff is set to expire in a couple years, but we'll just have to be cognizant about swapping it out when the time comes. But for now, pretty happy with this. And of course, some people will really appreciate this hard plastic case. So don't let that uh, detract you from picking one of these up if you're interested. Like I said, I got this at Costco. I think it was $20. Highly recommend it. Now the last thing that I have in here, which we're not gonna delve into today because I think it would just take too long and I don't want this to turn into a 30 minute video, is my Maxpedition toolkit. So the one thing that I will say about the Maxpedition pouch because it's not really related, is that I do have this pro kneeling pad that's carabinered on here. Uh, this thing is awesome. I am trying to save my knees any chance I get. So in fact, when I replaced that light on the trailer in that YouTube short video, I set this down on the pavement, knelt on it, replaced the light, all good. Obviously, if you're gonna replace a tire or something else, this is gonna be nice to have with you, available on Amazon, very cheap. In terms of the contents of this kit uh, itself, uh, there's just too much in here for me to be able to talk through it in this video and not have the video be super, super long. So, I will record a separate video, uh, hopefully shortly here after creating this one, where I talk through every single piece of equipment that I keep in here, but in general, uh, I can use this kit to replace a battery in a vehicle. If I had to change the oil, I could probably do that. Um, I have a lot of good tools in here that can solve most of my everyday problems, and this always stays in the truck, right? Obviously, it's way too big to just carry around all the time. So, always stays in the truck. A lot of really good equipment in here. Be sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified when I create that new video, uh, but for now, Everything that you see before me is part of my truck EDC. Uh, let me know what you think. Am I missing anything? Uh, should I add some stuff? Should I remove some stuff? Uh, and like I said, I do have a slightly different setup in the winter, although it's really not taking anything away. It's just adding a few more items to make sure that we're good to go. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.